So food is here. I'm again in the Bengali zone. I have something very interesting to show to you. I'm going to show to you dates. Dates which is grown more in this Middle Eastern, like places like Morocco, the UAE, Dubai and those places. So let's take a look and see the fresh dates here. You see that, my dear foodies? It's like, you know, back home in the islands where you would have that um, palm. It's like, it is a palm. This is what the fresh dates look like. See, it's all loose and nice. And you just give it a little peel. I do not know how you really consume the fresh dates, but we could Google that up and I could let you know. And here is the loose dates. These are already dried to perfection. It does have the seed in it. And sometimes, you know, they would put honey on it. So there you go. And we have the package ones. Really lovely. And these are pitted. They took the seeds out of these. Really lovely. In that time of Ramadan and those... Um, Muslims and uh, Muslim time, Hindus and um, Jewish people, they would usually use this as part of their main, as their main uh, diet. So that's what I want to share with you today. So my dear food, this here has something, another exciting fruit to share you, here with you. This is jackfruit, that big jackfruit. Now this jackfruit is, this. these are ripe. So we're going to consume this as is when you cut into it, have those nice pulp and they take the seeds out. And where I showed to you a video where the Pakistani, Bengali, Asian Indians and Mediterranean, where they will eat this green, they will actually use the green part of it, shell it out. They use it, the, the seeds, the seeds is, it has a nice butternut taste like potato, but it's a little more tough. It also belongs to the bread nut, which is Chatain or Kachahara as the island people know it as, and the breadfruit, but the breadfruit is more smooth. But so this is a, a bigger one, which is the same family. And this is more spiky, like the Karahar or the Shatain as we all know it. So it can be eaten green as a curry, or it can be eaten as a fruit when it's ripe. So you see my dear foodies, as I zoom into it, you can see the prickle on it. Whereas the breadfruit is smooth, but has the same type of cell type look. So this is the jackfruit and uh, oh, it's 129 a pound. So you know, this guy is like 30 pounds. So for here, I have something very interesting again. You know, I'm always shopping around and bringing all these great fruits and vegetables for you. This is a Bengali cucumber. You see, this, this, this Kirby, as we all know this, Kirby. So this is their Kirby, it's a cucumber very interesting i don't have a cut one but this is that is what it is and uh, what is it called so foodies the bengali name for this is kirai which is a cucumber as i say it's uh, just like the regular kirby cucumber kirai bengali and the guy said it's very tasty so maybe we should try one one of these fine days i'm not ready to try today just to show this out to you and here we have, we all know this in the island, Plum City, P-L-U-M-E-C-Y-T-H-E-R-E. -E. I got licks in my class to learn to spell that word. So that will stick with me for the rest of my life. So we all know, I think it's also known as, um, is it Star Fruit? Help me. Put it in the comment below. What's the name of it? There's another name for this. I can't remember very well, but it's very spiky inside. The seed is very spiky. So there you go. Plum City, where you could make it sweet. You could make it savory. You could make lots of chutneys with it. There we go. And it's a fruit. The name, the Bengali name is Amra. So we know it as plum city or sugar apple or star fruit or something like that. Put it in the comment below, let me know. And for the Bengali, it's Amra. This is fresh jamun. You know that jamun that we will have at the boundary plant. That's what I told you all about. We can make wine with it. And all that. It's known as jamun also here in, in the Bengali world. It's very soft. It's like a grape and it has a seed. It's very soft and it's really nice. There you go, jamun. Each. And here, my dear foodies, is dragon fruit. You know, there's three different types. They have this one, which is white inside. They also have it, which is red or burgundy inside. And there's a yellow skin one, which is very, very sweet. And that's the one I absolutely love more than these. And if I have to choose, I would usually get the, the purple color one or red color one of the dragon fruit. Very lovely. It's in season now, so it's two for two dollars. And usually, it's like four ninety nine a pound. This is a lovely eggplant. They call it Baidun. The Bengali people will call it Baidun. It's a green eggplant. And this here is a white eggplant. You know, a lot of the Africans, they also use this. I saw this also in the Nepali store where they will call it 
bitter ball, B I T T E R, like bitter, bitter ball. Bitter ball, they will pronounce it as. And this is like a white eggplant. Like, and we all know the aubergine, melangine, eggplant, bygone. It's the same name. But you know, every culture has their own name for this vegetable. So, my dear foodies, I have a lot of interesting stuff over here you know when i do my cooking i use the the fish the ground fish or the fish powder so here in the bengali store you already have them packaged here is that shrimp powder that you could use to enhance like in jollof rice if you're just making your curry fish or whatever you use that this is another one over here that you're going to use now this here is something interesting this says bombay duck Bombay duck with chilies, but it is not a duck. What it really is, it is this fish over here. This is the fish that is Bombay duck that is in this package over here with chilies and stuff to enhance your your cooking. It can also be used by itself. This over here, this one here, it's another Bengali one and this is the shrimp that is used one of the ingredients in here this is a multi-pack it has several different ones in here in the package as you can see through here they have a shrimp there there's another little fish there and some other one in there so this is one of the ingredients for this over here and this one my dear foodies anchovies with chili so we all know how salty anchovies is so this is the dry anchovies over here and that is what we have in here so this is used also to enhance your foods your rice your beans any one of your peas and whatever you can use the package one or you could just use the dry anchovies you also use anchovies in pizza so this will be the better one to use in your pizza lovely shopping here at the Bengali so and as you move along here we have some other fish that they use this is a bigger size one over here is another tiny one and these things they usually make it up together with your vegetables too you know <laughs> this one is a different one uh, you see one different, um, how do you use that you cook it with rice or vegetables with vegetables it, it, depend, it depends on you oh. yeah you can go with the vegetables you can go on the oh. Oh, so the proprietor is time it all depends on you what you're tasting you could mix it with your food this is another fish over here very thin and salted and you could use this to enhance the flavors in your food this is another one over here see this one they're all dehydrated fish where you will wash soak it in hot water and then put them to cook it Lovely stuff here. And here foodies is a lotoya sutikai. It's another one again. This is a deep dried fish. This is another one like the Bombay duck that what we would use in enhancing our cooking. Foodies take a look at this. Chalta Amchar Amaya. It's a nice little pickle for all my um my audience in the island. You all know what this is, Chalta. Chalta Amchar, that way you will make that around all the prayers and the weddings and the festive seasons where you will have a sort of pickle to just enjoy to complement your food there's one here in olive in olive oil i guess and then this one is just a regular one and we have jubi the name for it is jujubi as you can see jujubi pickle which is chalta in the language